1200 meters opener of the bipartite sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker Cold shot, one of the first to go. Rainio's right there. Mumsy's Jets about a length and a quarter off them. Lucky breaks a little bit strong in the early stages. Winning edge has the white blinkers. Onimal Kazadek's among the leading group. They're followed by King's approval. On the right, that's in the yellow silks as aware. About four or five lengths off the leaders. Then comes Kadar. Further back in the field, La Borna. And further back to Magnetic Man. On settling down to race now, and they move towards the 600 meter marker. And the leader is Rainier. Winning edges with the white blinkers, Onimel Kelzadek. Now Mumsy's Jet comes around with the green sleeves and the orange cap. That's got about two and a half lengths to make up. Cold Shot is trying to run on. Aware is towards the outside. Coming down to the 300, Rainier, winning edge. Mumsy's Jet now comes under a ride. Onimel Kelzadek and Aware is also running on as they get to the 200 meter marker. It's winning edge though. Winning edge, Rainier, Aware on the outside. Mumsy's Jet is not quickening as they get to the last 100. And it's winning edge, the leader, Aware, Onimel Kelzadek over the last 100. Winning edge and aware, and I think aware won it. Aware got it from in second, winning edge, and third place, probably Onimel Kelzadek. Going to find that number one aware. I think this horse gets up. Number one aware will just win it from winning edge number four. It's close, but number one nearest us, I think, will prevail. Second to number four winning edge, then five on Mel Kelzerek. Yeah, at the line. Actually wins easier than I thought. Number one aware won it. Second winning edge. That is number four. Third to number five on Mel Kelzerek. Fourth place, Mumsy's Jet might just get up from Rainier on the inside. Then Lucky Break, followed by King's Approval. Further back in the field, it is destined for Dawn. And then number nine, Bright number two, Leaborna, Colt Shot, Kadai and Star Tourney. So the opening leg of the bipot number one shows seven rand seventy on a, the tote win. Winning edge number four is showing twenty eight rand. So both Rainier and Mumsy's Jet they gone from the first leg of the bipot and aware the gelding by Fortwood will just prevail from winning edge back in second position. Race time seventy one twelve. Third race starts off the place accumulator. Back to the studio. The son of Fort Wood aware has put it together today and he's really quickened up well in the closing stages. Well done, Billy. You had that outside draw. You slowly, slowly started to tack over to the centre inside. Yeah, thanks, Sheldon. Um, I was a little bit worried about that outside draw. Uh, took my time coming over and going through the 400, I just sat as long as I could. Um, I know this was pretty well from home, done a lot of work on him. And yeah, fortunately I dropped my rein about the 300, picked it up, gathered it again and lucky he won a nice race for me. He gave you that last 150 and that's what you need? Definitely, yeah. I think just sitting past the four and just giving, um, he's switching off now, so he's running right to the line, which helped me a lot. Well done with this win under the belt. Thank you and a big thanks to Gavin and Gareth and the whole team. They're doing a fantastic job and just great to ride winners for them. Well done to jockey Billy Hello. Jacobson. I think this is uh, for my girlfriend Mel. Um, yeah, this one's for her, thanks. Well done there. Let's get Gareth Van Zyl in the winners area, yeah. Now, obviously, coming to the course, you said if he doesn't shape today, you're going to probably send him to the sand, so he must have heard that. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, Sheldon, I've put my heart into this horse, and I'm just so chuffed that he's won today. Um, you know, in this game, it's, it doesn't reward you for loyalty, and uh, so sentimental and all of that, but it's nice when it does come off. Um, you know, big well done to my dad. Um, you know, he, he's also put his support um, into the horse, obviously running in his colours for the first time. Um, we do miss Mrs. Oppenheimer miss still. This one's still for her. Um, and, you know, to Billy, um, he's done a lot of work on the horse back home. And, you know, he would have been a big runner on, on Sunday, uh, on Friday with a different jock. But, you know, it's deserving for him. Yeah, well, you dropped your own at the 300. But you, you won the race a long time before that. He, he, he tacked over beautifully. The horse needed to be ridden a, sp a specific way. He, he, he did that perfectly, got him to switch off 
and um, he did everything everything else perfectly. So well done to Billy for for getting him up and for the for the homework and that he's done on the source back home, and um, to the team, you know, Jessica, Michael, they're doing a lot of work on, on soundness, helping out with that and open sea, and yeah, we chuffed. Thank you. Chatting you during the week for Understarters orders, Cinema Scope, you said it's doing very well, and Diamond Debu expecting a forward run. Yes, yeah, she she worked very well. Um, on Monday, um, Sheldon, with a, with a good horse. So, you know, on that, uh, you know, I'm expecting something. And yeah, Cinema Scope, a- another one that I, I really like a lot. Um, and I, I just hope he's good enough, and I think he is. Well done. Thank you. Well done to the stable and the team combination there. Aware's come through in the dying stages, put the nose down when it mattered most, and won that close decision.